The state's health department, all in an effort to vaccine more people, has no citizenship requirements for this shot. Yet a 61-year-old man in the Rio, Van Gra uh, the Rio Grande Valley was turned away last week. His son talked to reporter Anastasia Bolton about the experience. It's an important thing, you know, with the whole pandemic going on. Abraham Diaz registered his dad to get the COVID-19 vaccine at UT Health Rio Grande Valley in Edinburgh. For me, it was a priority because, you know, he's 61 years old. He has, you know, high blood pressure. He's pre-diabetic. After weeks of waiting, Saturday was the day. And the person that was there asked him his full name, his date of birth, and then asked him for his social security number. There, you know, he said, I don't have a social security number. That's when, you know, they said, we can't give you the vaccine. This is only for U.S. citizens or people that have a social security number. The state's health department says everyone in Texas is eligible for the vaccine. Yeah, there's no citizenship requirement to get the COVID-19 vaccine. Uh, and the, the public health reason for that is really pretty simple. Um, you know, we want people living and working in Texas to be vaccinated. That's the best way we have to slow the spread of COVID-19 and make sure that everyone is protected. We asked UT Rio Grande Valley for an interview. We got a statement saying in part, quote, UT Health RGV was made aware Saturday, February 20th, that it did not follow the most current state of Texas guidelines that all eligible patients, despite their place of residence, be administered a COVID-19 vaccine. UT Health RGV apologizes to those patients who were affected at Saturday's vaccine site. We are reaching out to provide those patients with an appointment at their earliest convenience." End quote. He was very angry and really upset that, you know, they denied them just because of his immigration status. Abraham is working to get his dad a new appointment with another provider. The biggest thing that, that my dad wants is that undocumented folks are not turned away. In Rio Grande Valley with photojournalist Jose Sanchez, I'm Anastasia Bolton. And the Texas Department of State Health Services says it hasn't heard of other such instances, but if they do happen, or if you have concerns about vaccine providers, then email coronavirus at dshs.texas.gov.